express 6 plus 5i multiplied by 7 plus 2i in the form of a plus ib, where a and b are real, and write down 6 minus 5i multiplied by 7 minus 2i in a similar form. Hence, find the prime factors of 32 squared plus 47 squared. Okay, so, you might not know where to start with this question, but I always find that when you don't know where to start, or, how, or what the relationship between parts of a question are, to just start at the simple stuff which they've asked us to do, which is to express this in the form of a plus ib, pretty much everyone can do this. So, 6 plus 5i multiplied by 7 plus 2i, that equals what? Okay, that's going to be 6 times 7, which is 42, plus 6 times 2i, which is 12i, plus 5 times 7, 5i times 7, which is 35i, plus 5i times 2i, which is 10i squared, or negative 10. And that gives me 42 minus 10 is 32. 12i plus 35i is 47i. And here I can start to see a bit of a relationship. I have 32 and 47 popping up, and here I have a 32 and a 47. Okay, now let's go ahead and continue on. And then it says, and write down 6 minus 5i, multiplied by 7 minus 2i in a similar form. So, 6 minus 5i into 7 minus 2i. Now, I could just go ahead and expand that out, and that'd be fine. But I could also see that this is the conjugate of that, and this is the conjugate of that. So what do I have? I have 6 plus 5i multiplied by 7 plus 2i, but I'm taking the conjugate of each of them. And now I know that a conjugate a product of conjugates is equal to the conjugate of the product. So I can say that this is 6 plus 5i multiplied by 7 plus 2i, and I'm taking the conjugate of all that. Well, what's this? That's 32 plus 47. So I'm taking the conjugate of 32 plus 47, plus 47i, I should say. Okay, and well, that's very simple. 32 minus 47i. Good. So now I have these two things here which is the first part of the question. And then it tells me to hence find the prime factors of 32 squared plus 47 squared. Okay, so for this question, I say that I have 32 squared and 47 squared. Here I have a 32 and a 47. Here I have a 32 and a 47. But the only difference is now I have a negative. So I can say that this is the real part of this. And the 47 is the imaginary part of this, and almost the imaginary part, it's negative, the imaginary part of this. So this kind of makes me think I need to multiply these two, because I know that these are conjugates, and I know that, well, the conjugate times, a complex number times its conjugate is equal to the modulus squared. And the modulus squared is going to be of the form a squared plus b squared, which looks like what I have here. So... I will say that 32 squared plus 47 squared, well, that's going to be equal to 32 plus 47i multiplied by 32 minus 47i. What are these things? They are 6 plus 5i multiplied by 7 plus 2i. That's the first one. The second... 6 minus 5i multiplied by 7 minus 2i. And now I'm just going to write these in a different way. I'm going to put the conjugates together because, again, I have some conjugates. So that's that with that. Multiplied by 7 plus 2i with 7 minus 2i. And now I can use this formula again. And what do I have? I have 6 squared plus 5 squared. So that's 36 plus 25 multiplied by, again, I'm going to use that formula, and I'll have 7 squared, which is 49, plus 2 squared, which is 4. And so what's 36 plus 25? That will be 61. And what's 49 plus 4? That will be 53. So... 32 squared plus 47 squared is some number. 
I don't really know what it is, but it's some number, and that's equal to 61 multiplied by 53. And of course, if you were in an exam, you would just punch this into your calculator and check it out.